and we were like, no, we're not negotiating with taxis today. Let's just walk the whole thing. It's early. It won't be that hot. We were wrong. I can't believe today is our last full day in Rome, but we're up early to take advantage of the day, and we're going to start off with some breakfast. If you want to come to Rome and you've always wanted chiseled calves, <laughs> don't even worry about it because you will do so much walking on so much incline, you will achieve both goals. We are walking to a basilica center. It's the number one church to visit in Rome on TripAdvisor, is that right? Yeah, things to do in Rome. It's number one church, Santa Maggiore. It's supposed to be really beautiful inside. So we'll see, but it's a one and a half mile walk there. And we were like, no, we're not negotiating with taxis today. Let's just walk the whole thing. It's early. It won't be that hot. We were wrong. Yeah, and it's. 38 Celsius, 36 Celsius, which equivalents to hella hot Fahrenheit. <laughs> so, get water. Churches, especially Catholic churches in Rome, though, have very strict dress codes when visiting. So, always keep that in mind. Don't be like me when we went to the Vatican for the first time two years ago and I wore a tank top and a skirt and had to buy a scarf from a street vendor and pull the skirt down over my knees. <laughs> Or like me and wear chubbies and have to pull them down to where they're sagging <laughs> just to cover your knees. Mm. <laughs> Tastes like a meat 
ballroom without me. Tomato sauce in it. Super good. the charcuterie board place that we ate at the first day we were here and we're pumped. That was delicious. Mm. Per usual. The two times we've been there, usual, you know. So <laughs> Do you know what street this is or how to tell? Near the Trevi Fountain. It's near the it's Trevi Fountain. Fontana de Trevi. Here and now. I'll take a video of this. It's okay, so you're at this corner and then you just go down this little cobblestone street and it's on the left. And it's delit whoop and it's delicious. And we're crossing. Yeah. I don't know. How many more times I can ascend these stairs? Ugh. About to do the Coliseum restricted area too. Only for VIPs, <laughs> aka people that paid eighty dollars a person. So <laughs> you go underground, and it's at night, so you get to tour the Coliseum under the stars, which would be awesome. And you get to tour the Coliseum not in the heat of the day. <laughs> and not jam packed. Yeah. With people, and we've heard that a night tour is the best time to take. It. We're gonna find out. Inside, just seeing the underground, which is, if you're able to definitely do the underground tour, it was awesome. We're back in Trastevere for our last meal 
Pizza in Rome. Mm. We've saved the best for last. What we've heard is the best pizza in Rome, Darpeda. We're gonna see. What kind did we get? Darpeda. Peppers, zucchini, and mozzarella. So it's mozzarella, sausage, and zucchini, right? Mm. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever had zucchini on a pizza. And it was like a trash <laughs> perfect ending to our last day in Rome. We're now back at the hotel at 1215. We've got to pack all this yep. crap up in this apartment and head to our 17th country tomorrow. So pumped. <laughs>